Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Williams and I'm Youth Services Librarian here at University Park Public Library. And I'm excited to welcome you to today's Baby Story Short. Today's Story Short is for ages zero to 18 months and my role is to help you learn ways to share books and stories with your child to help build that relationship between you and them, get them interested in books and reading, and start learning some of those early sounds and words that they'll need later on to be great readers. So I'm so excited that you're here with me today, and we are going to get started with a song. This is a sweet song for you to be able to interact with your child and to help name parts of the body. So you can face your baby toward you on your lap or you can face them away or if big kids if you're with us you can do this with your stuffed animal so it goes here are baby's fingers can you wiggle your fingers here are baby's toes let's reach for those toes here's baby's belly button round and round it goes let's do that one more time here are baby's fingers Wiggle those fingers. Here are baby's toes. Let's reach for those toes. And here's baby's belly button. Round and round it goes. Is anyone ticklish? Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we've done a song together, I'm going to share a story with you guys. It's called 10 Little Rubber Ducks, and this is by Eric Carl. He's one of my favorite author illustrators. Can everyone make a sound like a duck? What does a duck say? Quack, 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 quack. Yes, that's right. Quack, 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 quack. Here's our story. Chuckity, chuckity, chuck. Goes the rubber duck machine. Out pop little yellow rubber ducks. Quack, quack, quack. One after the other. One after the other. The little rubber ducks are painted Bill's red and eyes blue. And do you see the people's shirts are those colors too? Here we have red and there's blue. And then they are packed into a box and off they go. They honk honk. Here goes our truck taking our rubber ducks to be loaded onto a cargo ship. Toot, toot, goes the boat. Hello, calls the captain. Hello. Here they go, off to the sea. The captain and his cargo ship are taking the little rubber ducks across the wide sea to faraway countries. See the sun's smiling face? Suddenly a storm turns the water. Uh-oh. Captain looks surprised, doesn't he? A strong wind whistles across the sea. A big wave lifts up one of the boxes and throws it into the water. The box opens and all 10 little rubber ducks fall out. 10 rubber ducks overboard, shouts the captain. 10 rubber ducks overboard. What will happen to these rubber ducks? After some time, the storm calms down and the 10 little rubber ducks bob in the big wide sea, bob up and down. As far as one can see, only water and sky, water and sky. The 10 little ducks begin to drift apart. See where they all go. The first little rubber duck drifts west and a dolphin jumps over it. Can everyone make a dolphin sound? And the second little rubber duck drifts east. A seal barks at it. Arp, 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 arp. The third rubber duck drifts north. A polar bear growls at it. Can I hear your best growl? Grr, grr. And the fourth little rubber duck drifts south. A flamingo stares at it. <laughs> The fifth little rubber duck drifts to the left. A pelican chatters at it. Cuck, 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 cuck. And the sixth little rubber duck drifts to the right. A turtle glides past it. I think you might hitch a ride on the turtle. The seventh little rubber duck drifts up and an octopus blinks at it. Blub, blub. And the eighth little rubber duck drifts down. A seagull screeches at it. 
The ninth little rubber duck drifts this way and a whale sings to it. Sound like a whale. And the tenth little rubber duck, let's see what happens. The tenth little rubber duck drifts that way, bobbing and floating on the big wide sea. The sun is setting and it's getting dark. See the dark sky? As far as one can see, only water and sky. Water and sky. What do you think is going to happen to this rubber duck? Our tenth one. Then the next morning, the sun comes out and the tenth little rubber duck meets a mother duck and her ducklings. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. Can everyone quack like a duck again? Quack, 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 quack. At the end of the day, the sun sets again and it is getting dark. The mother duck and her ducklings swim toward their nest. The little rubber duck floats along with them. He fits right in. <laughs> Thinks he's found his family, doesn't he? Good night, says the moon. Quack, says the mother duck. Quack, 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 say the ducklings. And the little rubber duck says squeak, just like one of your rubber ducks. The end. Well, everyone, thanks so much for singing and reading with me today. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I wanted to let you know that we're going to start outdoor story time on Fridays at 1030, starting May 7th. So we'll be there every Friday in May at Gore Park. So I hope you'll join me for that. To be in person, we'll have songs and stories and lots of movement to get everyone up and moving around. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you again next week. Thank you.